Hey friends, welcome to another week here at the Troller Inn. We are working on some random items again this week. We are trying to get a lot of that stuff finished before the windows come, or at least before the first three windows come, so we can get started um, on the siding and on the windows. But um, to do that, we're gonna prep a little bit more of the inside things. We are running a few more CAT6 cables, and uh, we are running a few conduits, future-proofing our house, so that in case we needed to ever run more cables into the basement from the second floor, we can do so, and also a conduit for um, cable and um, fiber optics and then we are starting to work on some of the bracing blocking and um, just corner braces that we need for when we want to attach the drywall um, obviously we're not ready for drywall yet but um, I figured it's something that we can get started um, it has to be done anyways so let's get going So here you can see the conduit coming down from the server area and going down into the basement. Um, as I said before, this is really just for the purpose of um, in the future if we needed to run some extra lines, we can do so. And then over on the far side here, you can see the conduit and it is pretty flexible. So you can see I just bent it to make it um, go around this corner here, but um, it goes and goes down to the outside of the building right here in the dining room kitchen area. This is a perfect spot because most likely the internet will come up from the road here on the left, um, passed on a parlor, and then we can just run the wire along the building um, and come up in our conduit to the server. Um, what we want to get is fiber optics, um, internet, because obviously the speeds are much higher and they actually have some really good deals in our area. So one of the things that we have to finish this week is the CAT6 cabling. I want to make sure that the network is all set up and we have it all ready for the future. We are also adding some conduit into the basement for um, if you ever have to upgrade in the future. So therefore I'm just going to run one inch tubing into um, 
into the basement area where it's central and in the future it's easy to just pull more lines. I'm also adding a half inch conduit. The half inch conduit is for fiber optics or cable for the internet. Um, we don't obviously know yet exactly what we're going to have when we move in to this building. Plus, uh, I want to future proof it. So therefore, I'm just running a conduit to the outside of the building where it's most likely that our internet would come into so that um, obviously at that point we can just run the cable when we need it. So this should be all the CAT6 cables that we need in the, at least inside, inside of the building. There is still a few runs that we have to make, but I can't do them right now. It's because they're for the cameras. Um, the cameras are unfortunately on back order. I want to um, figure out exactly where the cameras are uh, going to be before I run the cable there. So therefore, um, that's gonna have to wait for the later date, but, and probably when we do the siding because I can't really mount them until I have the, the new siding on. So therefore, we will probably not run that until uh, later this year. One of the other jobs that I want to get done this week is getting all the labels made for the manifolds so that we know exactly where it's going and we don't have to try to figure out, okay, is this the sink or is this the sink? The next thing we want to get done today is install some of these um, furring strips for uh, at spots where it's going to be difficult with the drywall otherwise. Um, for example, on this spot, I have the conduit sticking out a little bit on the 2x4 here. So I'm going to make this wall a little thicker with the furring strips or other spots is in corners where a wall comes together. We might need a furring strip so that we can attach the drywall um, in detail in the corner. Um, from both sides. I'll show you in detail when I get to one of those, but first let's get this wall started. I hope this close-up makes it a little clearer of what I'm doing here. I'm attaching furring strips um, on the side of 2x4s next to the wall corners so that in this in this corner here when the drywall bumps, uh, bumps up um, across here we have something to attach the drywall to um, here in the corner because otherwise the drywall would be floating here and obviously you could just push it in and it bends in. The other detail that I wanted to point out is um, we had this conduit coming out here on the wall a little further 
than we had planned. The uh, reason why that is is because we actually have a joist running right in the middle of that um, two by four there on the bottom. Um, and therefore I couldn't drill right in the middle of the two by four. I had to drill in an angle over on this side. And then for this one conduit that is a little th thicker, I had to go on this side and therefore um, I wasn't able to make it um, within uh, the thickness of the, the wall and therefore I'm adding throwing strips to just get bump out enough that the drywall can fit um, over it without getting bumped out. Obviously for the people that are wondering, yes there will be some metal plates over this so that um, we don't accidentally screw into the conduit when we uh, attach the drywall to it. Thanks everybody for um, wishing us a great vacation. We actually had a lot of fun. Um, we spent some time with the kids at the beach um, in the Virginia Beach area. It was a lot of um, just relaxing time. We tried to, do, tried to do not too much, still enough that the kids would be tired uh, in the evenings, of course, um, sleeping in a, new, uh, in a different house. But um, overall, uh, we had a really good time the few days that we were away. And I hope um, that we can get some more progress done um, here in the next few months in the house until maybe the windows show up and we can work on the siding. Um, looking really forward to that and um, also doing some of that um, exterior work on the walls that we need to do. So hopefully the next few weeks can be beneficial. So in the last few weeks we have gotten a lot of calls from people that wanted to purchase our building and we were really surprised because yes um, over the years it has happened that um, somebody wanted to purchase one of our buildings or in this case our Victorian and um, we found out um, why it is. Um, actually one of our neighbors we saw them um, having a moving truck over so I was talking with her and she was telling us it's actually the, what, the house right next to us um, and she was telling she sold to um, this development company here in the area and they are actually planning of just renovating um, an entire section of the street uh, they also purchased that large large building that I've sh uh, shown in some other videos especially with some drone footage before um, and they are actually wanting to turn this into a like a boutique spa hotel or something like that and they use want to use some of those uh, older buildings in the on the street here for some outbuildings for maybe some spa treatment area or um, like a little shop um, or here or there something for the hotel so we'll see what comes from it but that's the main reason obviously we are not really interested in selling our house we have been really wanting to work on it for uh, to live there we had a made a really good deal with when we purchased the house and so therefore this is obviously our dream house we want to live here and um, the number that somebody would have to pay to make us move is obviously going to be um, much higher than the market value but um, I have communicated that to them many times but they kind of keep calling us still every week or two weeks so we'll see what comes from it well I think this is it for this week I will see you guys the next time I return on the camera bye